said you, you, you set up a small museum. You're not kidding. Isn't the front door four feet tall? Uh, yeah, it is. <laughs> well, it, it was from an old horse stable, and uh, okay. you use what you've got. Yeah. Uh, so when people stoop, stoop down in there, I hope that that also helps them keep it small, you know? Mm. It, it, if you come to my museum with some overconfidence or some feeling of grandeur, uh, we're going to take care of that real quick by bending <laughs> you in half and making you walk into this tiny museum. Uh, and then you sit in kind of the tiny chairs that I have that fit the room. Oh. And uh, you can just have a look. Yeah. I, I can see it in my mind's eye, and I can't wait for my next trip to Carson because uh, you're speaking my language here with this local history, Herb. I'll tell you that. My name is Shad Devonpore. I'm a local historian in Jack Township Village, Mississippi. And recently I've had the privilege of being part of a documentary on my hometown. The name of the documentary is Jack Township Village. A uh, big story about the history of my town and an event there that really has defined uh, the citizens and, and the town itself. And I also have a podcast called the Shad Devonport Local History Podcast where I get to dig into some fascinating local history uh, around the country from a lot from the 1870s, 60s, 90s. We went so far as to uh, 1924 this past season where I was able to interview one of the uh, last living player piano teachers in the country from Caldwell, New York. But if you're interested in seeing uh, my documentary that uh, I, was, I was cast in where I was interviewed for this uh, Jack Township Village, uh, there will be as much information. Uh, I'm new to the online social media world. It's been a whirlwind this last year um, doing these things. So I, there will be information below for uh, where you can sc see the, the movie screening online for online film festivals. And also to the Shad Devonport Local History Podcast you can listen to on your favorite listening platforms. Um, some of my favorite episodes. It's hard to choose one this past season of season two of the podcast. I interviewed Bubs Dudley, who's the oldest living or one of the living player piano teachers still. And uh, the bartender, uh, as they tell it, is Tender Joe Riley. And uh, interesting fact, he was three feet tall. Oh, that's Some tiny. people uh, often uh, would, would uh, they thought the bartender was not there because they couldn't see it. And he would have to continually remind people that he was not a child mm -hmm. because you would not have a child serving alcohol, right. at least not uh, in, the, in, in the New York State at that time. Mm -hmm. So he hurried his tiny legs to the piano when he saw these two men pulling out their guns and getting into something that would, could be lethal. And he turned on to play a piano and he, he programmed a song, but not just any song, uh, quick thinking as he was. He turned on uh, the player piano to play She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain. It, it didn't play no Taylor Swift or whatever her name. It uh, was uh, the classics. Right. And I interviewed um, several other people. Bobcats and Bayonets was one of my favorite episodes. Really enjoyed that. The Gambling Hall, Fern, Alabama. If you've never heard of the underground gambling hall that's still there to this day. Fascinating story. Just some real jewels. Had some great guests on to interview. So if you're interested in local history and you're interested in watching it, you can see the film, but you can also listen to many podcast episodes available on your favorite listening platform. My name's Shad Devonpore. I look forward to seeing you real soon on a history podcast or a history documentary. And speaking of history, this video's history. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Joel Berry. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I'd love for you to check out more work that I'm doing here. And also, you can check me out on Patreon. It's a big help if you could support me there. Patreon.com backslash Sweet Tea Films. I think there's a link below in the description for that. And subscribe, turn on notifications, share. We'll see you in the next video.